become such a great piano player? You are a prodigy, my son, and together you will be a star, and you're gonna make me filthy rich. Rich, I say, rich, rich! <laughs> Hey, Todd, are you all right, buddy? You don't look so good. Oh, no. I've overworked my cat. He just wanted to live his little kitty life, and I took that away from him. Also, I could become so rich. You know, kids, this almost reminds me of something that might have happened to a young musician named Amy Beach. Let me tell you all a little bit more about the life and music of Amy Beach. Amy Beach was born in Henniker, New Hampshire in 1867. From the very beginning of Beach's childhood, she showed early signs that she was going to be an amazing musician. At age one, she was able to sing 40 songs perfectly. At age two, she was able to sing in harmony. And at age three, she began to write her own music. Her mother gave her piano lessons and she began to perform difficult pieces at only six years old. After performing in local recitals, many people started approaching her mother saying, Ah, let's take this girl here and we're going to make her a star. She's going to go over here to New York. She's going to go over here to Paris. She's going to be big. Big, I say. Her mother declined all of these offers. Even though her daughter was exceptionally gifted, she didn't want to make her child a star and rob her of her childhood. At age 16, Beach really began her career as a pianist when she played at Boston's Music Hall. The audience loved her. Everyone was blown away at how amazing her piano skills were. After this performance, more and more people were asking to see her play. When she was 25, she wrote her mass in E-flat major, which audiences also really enjoyed. This work of music boosted her fame. Now she just wasn't a famous pianist. She was now a famous composer. In fact, one of America's best. When she was 43, her husband unfortunately passed away. And then only seven months later, so did her mother. This was a very difficult time for Beach. So she went away to Europe to try and recover from her sadness. But while she was there, she wrote even more music that got her more popularity in Europe. While she was in Europe, she wrote one of her most popular pieces of music. Gaelic Symphony. A symphony is a long four-part piece of music written for orchestra. And she was the first woman in the world to write and publish one. When war came to Europe, she moved back to the U.S., where she wrote even more music for several more years. My favorite piece by Beach is her piano concerto in C-sharp minor. Concerto is a piece of music where an orchestra plays in the background of a pianist. Amy Beach was incredibly talented since the day she was born. The music she made was way ahead of her time, making her one of the best American composers ever. Todd, I'm so sorry that I took advantage of your talents. Will you ever forgive me? Thanks. Go ahead and go do kitty things. I'll see y'all kids next time.